Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Space News Pod. Today's episode is all going to be about Starship SN20, Booster 4, the chopsticks. We're talking about Starship launch facility, and we're talking about the QD arms today. We're going to be talking about the pins with the uh, Starship flaps. We're going to be talking about what it's like to be down on Highway 4 sometimes on the side of the road while you're filming SpaceX's Starship. Now, yesterday, SpaceX positioned Starship SN20 between the chopsticks. Earlier in the day, they were doing the necessary engineering tasks to get it ready for the chopsticks mating. Throughout all day and night yesterday, SpaceX was continuing to configure Starship for the mating of the catch arms and also for an upcoming lift of Ship 20 on top of Booster 4. Now, this lift on top of Booster 4 is a long time coming, but also it only took a few days to kind of get everything in shape, about a week to get everything in a shape for this lift. Now, are they going to be doing a structural test of Booster 4 and Ship 20? Yes, they will. They'll be collecting data from both pieces, from the ship, from Booster 4, but they'll also be testing the systems integrations in the QD arm, the chopsticks, They'll see if the chopsticks actually work to lift Ship 20 because they've never done that before. They've never lifted a Starship with the chopsticks. So as you can see here, late last night, Ship 20 was between the chopsticks. And throughout the night, they slowly raised the chopsticks up little by little to mate with the flaps of Starship SN20. The chopsticks successfully mated with Ship 20 last night. We were cheering it on throughout the night. I did a live stream last night. So if you could take a look back at that, it's directly on our homepage on YouTube. So check that out. It's it's just like a, an amazing sporting event. All night long, we're watching this piece of steel try to mate with another piece of steel. And it's about an hour and a half of inch by inch and it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So thank you for everybody who watched last night, by the way. Now let's get back into Ship 20. Now, hopefully Ship 20 will be raised up on top of Booster 4. Now, I'm going to use some, some estimation, estimations here. Uh, Booster 4 is about 250 feet tall. Ship 20 is about 150 feet tall. So together, they're about 400 feet tall. So they have to lift Ship 20 250 feet into the air, rotate it, towards booster four, place it on booster four properly and snugly, but very gently. And they will have a crew of people up there guiding it along as it lowers down. Now people have access to booster four via the QD arm. It seems like everybody would be safe within the confines of the launch tower. And then when Ship 20 gets closer to Booster 4. A few people would go out on the QD arm. And eventually, they'd meet up with Ship 20 and Booster 4 and put it in place gently but firmly and make sure everything's ready for Elon Musk's talk tomorrow at Starbase Boca Chica, Texas. Now, I did not get invited to that yes or tomorrow, but... I'm going to try to bring you as much content as I can from down there tomorrow. They're going to be closing off the area from 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. tomorrow. That's when the road closure is scheduled, from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to get down there, but I'll do my best. And you can check us out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash space news pod, because we may do the Elon talk over there. So check that out. Make sure to subscribe over there. So here we go. Let's talk about the lift. What's going to happen? After the lift, they're going to mate ship 20 to booster four. Like I said before, snugly, securely, but gently. And then they have to spend probably hours making sure that it's absolutely secure before they move on to the next step. Now, what is going to be the next step? They have to test all the systems. You know, they're, te they're testing the chopsticks. They're testing the QD arm. They're testing the pressure of booster. Can it take ship 20s weight on top of it 
with all the tiles, etc. And do they still fit together? That's the other thing. Is this a fit test for ship 20 and booster four? Booster four, ship 20. You know, let's see how they've been uh, handling this because they've been worked on for the last few months without being mated. Things could have shifted. So it's a possibility. They don't fit perfect. They might have to bang them with a hammer a few times to get them in there. But there is a possibility that they might take some extra time to get those to fit. Now, Elon's talk is at 8 o'clock Central Standard Time on Thursday the 10th. And that's tomorrow. And we expect Elon and the talk to be in front of Starship SN20 and Booster 4 Super Heavy. Now, I have a little bit of information about what's going to be happening at about 6 or 7 o'clock. Between 6 and 7 o'clock, people are going to be lining up to get into the event. Right? So between 6 or 7, everything is going to be closed down near Starbase Production Facility. Then after that, those people will be bused to wherever the talk is going to be. That's cool. Now, is that talk going to be at Ship 20 and Booster 4? There's a high possibility that that's the case. Why wouldn't they put them there? You know, why wouldn't they put everybody there and put Elon Musk in front of literally the biggest rocket that's ever been assembled? That would be pretty cool. So I hope it all works out well, and I hope they can make Ship 20 with Booster 4. And if they can't, well, they're just going to play along with it. They're going to work with it the same way that Elon and SpaceX always does. They figure it out along the way. Now, would they love to have it all lit up and beautiful so they could do this amazing talk there? Of course they would. So let's cheer it on. Let's cheer on Ship 20 and Booster 4 and hope that everything goes well with them. Now, I'm going to take a, a little sidestep here, and I want to let you guys know, um, you know what it's like to actually be down at uh, Starship, Starbase, SpaceX, Boca Chica, that area. Uh, it's phenomenal. The people that I've met so far have been absolutely amazing. Everyone's been really cool. Everyone's been really nice. I meet people from all over the place. I met a, a great older couple today from Maine. They came in uh, to go bird watching, and they just happened to be space fans. And they're, you know, we talked it up for a little bit. They needed. Uh, some information about what's going on and you know i gladly gave them some information about spacex and starship and starbase and stuff like that so it's very friendly down there very very nice environment now that being said thank you for helping out i really do appreciate you but that's about it for this episode everybody make sure to like and subscribe like you do with every youtube video take care